Hi everyone, welcome to tip five of our top 12 interactive tips within Lynx Whiteboard. This one is all about creating a flow quiz. Now the flow system is a great way of making a nice transition from one slide to another, but it also gives you the opportunity to give students an element of choice. So from one particular slide, they can choose where they want to go um, next because each flow is like a window to another slide. I'm going to do that with uh, four slides that I've got here. The first one is a question slide. What destroyed the Roman city of Pompeii? And then the next three slides are the possible answers. Earthquake, and it clearly says they're wrong with a back arrow. Volcano, it already says correct with an arrow moving forward. And then we have the word flood with a wrong again and a back arrow. So I've got my slides ready. So if I want to create the flow windows to the possible answers, this is how I do it. So notice that on this question page, I don't have any of the possible answers because the flow windows will do that for me. So first of all, I'm going to go and look at my slide viewer. So here, here are all the slides. Now to create a flow window, it's really simple. On any slide, you'll see a chain link icon in the bottom right. And if I just pick up the slide, it means I can drop it onto any other slide. So I'm just going to drop Earthquake there. I could also pick up a slide and drop it onto the middle of one in the slide viewer, as I've just done. And you can see it has appeared there. And then finally, I'm going to pick up the chain link for the flood and we'll drop it there. So I don't need uh, that again for now. So I can now position these on here wherever I would like them to be, at whatever size I think I, I want them to be as well. So I might tinker with those a little bit longer than I would be now for this video, you know, just to get the size sort of equal and so on. One thing that isn't very nice is that we've got white borders on some of them, so we can get rid of those. So on any item, all we have to do is go to this little I inside a box because that is the flow window icon. And then we can get rid of the border and we can get rid of the border color. So I'm going to do that again here. Get rid of the border line, get rid of the border color and the same here. And I could have selected all three and done it all in one go as well. That's the nice thing about links. You can select multiple items and do you know, multiple things at the same time. So the other problem is that each choice reveals that one of them's correct and the other two are wrong. We need to get rid of that information off these slides. So what we'll do is we'll move on. And now you'll see we've got that nice flow effect going into the earthquake slide. So I want to hide where it says wrong here. Now, for this, we go into the other I symbol and we just tap hide in preview. I also want to hide the arrow here, so I'll do the same, hide in preview. If we go back now, you can see that it only says earthquake in this box now. So let's do that to the other slides too. So I'm just going to select the word correct and hide it, and the arrow, and hide it. And then we'll move on and do the same here too. Okay, now those arrows also need setting up so that they're a link back to our question slide or moving on to the next question. That's really easy as well. So just tap on the arrow again, and the three dots right in the corner takes me to the menu, menu where I choose how this is going to interact with um, presentation mode. I want it to be a link and I want this to go to a particular slide. So I'm going to select which slide it is. And of course, the slide I want it to go back to is the question so that the person doing the quiz can have another go because they got the answer incorrect. So I've just tapped OK twice. I know that I've now created a link because I can see a little link symbol in the top left. And if I tap on it, we'll actually go back to the question page. I need to do the same again here. So I'll show you again. Three dots, link, select slide, 
and we're going to go back to the question page and we're going to say OK, OK. And then I just need to do that one more time. This time though, it's for this arrow and this time we're going to select the next slide along. So this is going to be about learning about Roman legionaries. So OK, OK. So if we head back to our question page and we start presenting now from the stacker menu, we can actually run this question properly. What destroyed the Roman city of Pompeii? Somebody might think it's flood, so we tap on flood. We flow into that page, we can see that we're wrong. So now we can use the arrow to go back and we can have another go. This time let's select volcano. Fantastic, we're correct. And we can move on to the next part of our quiz. So that doesn't you know, take very long to set it up for each question. It's just a matter of separate slides and creating those windows to the possible answers.